I gotta hide. I gotta run while I still can. That beast is gonna chase me around faster than a Formula One racing car. What am I gonna do? Nintendo have just announced a lot of details about the fresh season, starting March the 1st. We've got tons of data on new kits, new stages to run around in, and whatever the hell this is. I'll quickly take you through what we know so far about the update, and if this is good or bad for the game. First off, let's analyse all of the good things that we know of so far, which is the vast majority of the news that we receive. We've got 11 new kids this time, which is already more than the chill season. In this official image, you'll find the Tri-Slusher, Splat Roller, L3 Nozzle Nose, Enzap, Splashomatic, Splushomatic, Clash Blaster, Splat Charger, Rapid Blaster, Jet Squatcher, and 96 Gal. All of these weapons have brand new kits with some funky fresh designs. At the time of writing, we already know about the Kraken Splat Roller. It has the exact same kit as in Splatoon 1, with Squid Beacon and Kraken. The 96 Gal is also a throwback to Splatoon 1, with Splash Roll and Kraken, giving me PTSD war flashbacks to the pain that the Deco inflicts on us all. We also know that the new Nozzle Nose has a torpedo as a sub weapon, thanks to this post from Billy. As he says, the little red thing at the tip of the torpedo is visible on his table turf card. Pretty cool, right? Go follow him and the original person that found this out in the description. The weapon may or may not have tri strikes since on the right there's this weird looking cylindrical thing, but that's all we really know about the weapon so far. Two new maps will be playable in the fresh season, being Manta Murray from Splatoon 2 and an Egyptian style stage which is all new. I really want to draw attention to this thing, like what am I even looking at? I have a few ideas for what this could be. It must be important judging by its presence in the image. It could be something as simple as a locker decoration, which would be cool, but I think that it's more than that. I'm wondering if this is a new sub or even a special weapon. Its proportions look similar to that of a suction bomb, and just judging by the shape of it, my headcanon is that we've got a new sub weapon in the update. What if it's like the final version of Marina's Hyper Bombs? If you shoot them, they blow up and deal massive damage like a mini Rainmaker explosion. That could be pretty cool. There's a bunch of gear being added which is always nice, including Crocs for some reason. There also seems to be a new King Salmon judging by the image next to the medal, though admittedly it's very hard to make out what it actually is. Overall, this update is looking to have more content than the chill season, which is always nice to see. However, at the same time, a few things are slightly bugging me about what we've seen so far. Don't get me wrong, 11 new weapons being added to the game is great, however it seems a lot less positive once you notice that 6 of the weapons showcased are just shooters. This makes me very worried for the future of the game since shooters are getting stronger every single day at this point because of Nintendo's pretty obvious bias towards them. And god help us if any of them get Tenta missiles, because that will slow the game in general right down. I don't want double missiles to become a thing, but since this ends up has missiles in Splatoon 2, we can only pray that Nintendo stays away from this approach. If you have to give Tenta missiles to a weapon, give it to a blaster so that it can't spam. We also can't see any new big modes like League Battle or Table Turf Online showed, which is pretty concerning. I really want League Battles especially since I'm kind of done with Anarchy Open, gotta be honest. Also, where are the new kits for Splatoon and Brothers and Stringers? Brothers in particular are in desperate need of attention from Nintendo right now, but they seem to insist that the Brella straight up doesn't exist right now. My final issue is actually with Kraken itself. If the special turns out to be even decent, then it will most likely outclass Reef Slider and Onchistan. I really don't want that to happen, since I like both of the specials, but with the way things are looking, they'll be reduced to atoms soon enough. And that does it, really. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments, and I'll see how well this video ages. But aside from that, have a great day, and I hope you're looking forward to the fresh season. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.